home with you YouTube. This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. Today we are doing a recap of the sports titles released in 2015. For the sake of the video and the games that I've played, I'm only going to do the three major American sports. That is baseball, basketball, and football. We're going to talk Madden. We're going to talk NBA 2K. We're going to talk MLB The Show and see what we received in 2015. And it also may give us a sneak peek as to what we'll see in 2016. First up, we have MLB 15 The Show. This game was released March 31st, 2015. Now, MLB The Show seems to be in a difficult position. This game seems to be haunted by its own greatness. MLB 15 The Show is generally regarded as the best sports game out of the three major American sports. Uh, simulation wise, you really can't get closer to baseball. So every year this game comes out, people are questioning, hey, why would I buy this one over the last one? Now, has the game greatly improved? No. Why? Because the game's already great. MLB 15 The Show did throw a whole bunch of new features at us, but unfortunately, I think a whole bunch of them went unnoticed because in baseball, the features are such small attention to detail features that sometimes if you're not paying attention, you won't even realize it. Some of the notable ones that MLB 15 The Show had was the new tag and slide system. The AI was greatly improved, and I think the major feature was the manual cutoff. Now, was this enough um, to warrant a new purchase? I don't know. Will I be buying MLB 16 to show? Absolutely. It's probably my favorite sport franchise, even though it doesn't get that much better every year. It's just enough to keep me coming back. Next up is probably the most controversial sports franchise to release every year. Yep, you guessed it, Matt and 16. When it comes to controversy, Matt and 16 definitely didn't disappoint. They added one major key feature that was a hotbed of discussion. That was the user control catches. They had the run after catch, the possession catch, and the most controversial, the aggressive catch. Now there were multiple videos made by me and several other YouTubers explaining that the aggressive catch was overpowered. But you do have people that felt like it was just right. Their argument, those catches happen week in and week out in the NFL season, so they need to be in the game. My argument was they do happen, they just don't happen as often as we see them in Madden 16. Now, another feature Madden offered was the gang tackling. Um, this was a new feature where as many people can add to the tackle as possible. Sometimes it behaved correctly and sometimes it was a little haywire. An area I can say Matt and did shine was adding a new mode, Draft Champions. This may be my favorite thing that was added in a sports game in 2015. This mode is generally regarded as one of the best modes in sports gaming. It's for a lot of gamers who don't want to get into Ultimate Team, um, but still want to play with a lot of different players and make different choices with lineups and rosters. Matt and now did themselves with Draft Champions, and this was the mode. This was my go-to mode when I was playing Matt in 16. So I look for them to improve on that in the future. They have a gem on their hands with Draft Champions. The main topic is, has Matt improved enough? That topic requires a lot of time and detail. I'm not willing to go through that in this video, but each one of these games will have subsequent videos following up on where I think these games are going in 2016. Next up, we have NBA 2K16, hashtag be the story. Now, this game annually rivals the MLB series, in my opinion, as the best sports game of the year. Now, this year had some hits, but it also had some misses. Most notably, in my opinion, is the whole hashtag be the story, a story directed by Spike Lee, which was supposed to be new and refreshing. But unfortunately, I feel like a lot of people at the end of the day felt like they weren't the story at all. This story was written out. There was no, wasn't a whole lot of decisions to be made. And you basically watched a movie for the first season of your, my career. Now, it was an ambitious effort by NBA 2K. Don't get me wrong. And I love to see companies take chances. And I would love to see NBA uh, 2K franchise take another chance. Unfortunately, I don't feel like the story hit. And I don't feel like we were the story at all now let's talk about nba 2k gameplay because they did get some things right and they still are battling legacy issues uh one of the things that i love in this game are the physics the in-air collisions 
are absolutely wonderful. I made a video on them. I've made probably two videos on them. The collisions and the physics are great. Now the series is still plagued by some problems. I still think rebound, rebounding can stand to be improved. Um, you still do have server issues every now and then. And the annual 2K problems that we have year in and year out don't seem to have been fixed this year. But that being said, this still is a stellar game. Next up, we have NBA Live 16, and this is a difficult one to discuss. Now, did this game improve? Yes. Did it improve enough to warrant somebody to spend money on it? I don't quite think so. Um, you did have a mode NBA um, Live Pro-Am, which was a mode that uh, is regarded as a very good mode in sports gaming. A lot of people enjoy this mode, and a lot of people are still enjoying this mode. Well, I can't say a lot because judging by the number of copies this game, so maybe not a lot, but people who have the game are enjoying NBA Live Pro-Am. Now, this game is still lacking in some player uh, model faces. The gameplay is still not as tight as it should be. And to be honest, I don't know what this game needs to take it over the top to truly battle NBA 2K um, franchise. But let's just say for now, man, hopefully the game still keeps getting released and the game still keeps improving, and one day we'll have a viable option and competition in the NBA basketball video game realm. All right, man, so I have another video coming up saying uh, for each game for 2016, where I like to see the franchise go and where I think it's going. All right, get active in the comments, and I'll get at you another time. Peace.